Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. My name is Rohit Gautam and today I'm going to share one of the very cool trick that I have identified for the chaos project discovery project of subdomain data sets. Now, as all of you must be knowing that in case you want to install the chaos client, which has been given by the project discovery team. And in case you want to download the subdomains from your CLI, from your terminal, then you need a API key. In case you do not have an API key, you have to submit a Google form and then you have to wait and they send you an API key. But when I filled that particular form, it took around 30 days to send me an API key. So I could not wait that long and I identified a cool trick so that you can get a lot of subdomains from here without any API key or without hitting any type of rate limit. So before that, let me show you the GitHub project for the chaos client or the project discovery team, which is made to actually use the data sets from your terminal ethically by using the API key, as you can see over here. So with the help of this, as you can see, you need to install the chaos client. You have to give the domain name with the help of hyphen D and let's say Uber, and you want all the subdomains for this specific target, and you will be able to download all the subdomains for this target. Similarly, there are many multiple options from here that you can choose, but waiting for the API key can be difficult for every one of you. So I'm going to share a very cool trick that I have identified in which you will be able to download all the latest data sets from the chaos project without any API key. Yes. So how to do this now? While I was seeing the source code of this tool and how it actually works, while I was seeing the source code for this particular tool and trying to understand how this actually works, I came across one thing that was this particular URL. As you can see, this chaos-data.projectdiscovery.io. Once you hit a request over here, you're going to get a access denied message over here. But when you write index.json over here, something gets downloaded into your computer. And what actually is this? You can see it is a list of programs, which is written over here. The name, the program URL, the URL of the data set or the subdomains. And you can see the count, the change if any is done. The change is basically if there has been any update that has happened, as you can see, these are the changes is new. If the program is new, the platform where the particular program is hosted on, if it is hacker one, it is buck crowd or any private program. And if they provide any bounty and you can see the best thing over here is the last updated result. As you can see, this is updated on 24th and today is 26. So this data has not, be up, not been updated for rocket set, but you will be able to identify a lot of subdomain data sets that have been updated recently, and you will get the latest data sets from there. Now, how to utilize this? We have got the whole program list into this particular index.json file, how to extract the domains and the subdomains for each program. So for this, what I have done is I have written a simple bash script that I'm going to share with every one of you. Now let's see this, how actually it looks like. So as you can see over here, get all the subdomains for a target from the chaos project without the API key. Yes, so I have written a cool little bash script, which you can see over here. I call it as chaos hunt.sh. Now you can see what actually I'm doing over here. So I'm going to read the index.json file. I'm going to grab the URL part from it. 
I'm going to remove the URL part and all the junk data and noise from it. Now I'm going to run a while loop and send a wget request to all those URLs one by one. And then for each URL or zip file that I have downloaded, as you can see, I'm going to grab zip from there. I'm going to do a unzip. After I have done the unzip, I'm going to remove the zip file. I'm going to read all the files which have been unzipped in the previous step. And after reading all the files together, I'm going to save the output into all targets.txt file. Now, when you will do this, the output will be something like this, as you can see. So these are all the files which have been created for each program. For example, let's say sophos.com.txt. So let me just show you. These contain all the updated URLs which have been downloaded from the project discovery data sets. Similarly, you will be able to see a file called as all targets.txt which will contain all the targets from all the files compiled into a single file. So for those of you who like to do mass hunting for all the targets which exist on HackerOne or Buckcrowd, you can do that at once as well. So you can run your any template based scanner or signature based scanner on all these particular subdomains and you will be able to get very good results. Let me just stop this. So I hope you understood how to actually do this. Now it is time to break down the bash script that we have written so you understand better what actually is happening. So let's come back over here. So I'm going to read the file. So in the script, obviously, I have done head. You do not need to write head. Oh, let me just run this. This is only for two programs right now. The two programs, the first one is the rock set, as you can see, and the second one is onto it.zip because we are only doing the head for 20 lines over here. So you can simply modify the script to cat index.json and this way you will be able to get all the particular domains and subdomains for all the targets. Now we are going to do grep URL. Uh, again, we are going to remove all the noise because we want all the URLs. Run a while loop, run a wget on each, the, each of the URL, run a loop again, grep zip, unzip it, and complete the loop, remove all the zip files, cat all the files once all together and append the output into a file called as all targets.txt. Now, as I said again, you can use all this data to any of your scanner or you can do it manually if you want to do anything with this data because subdomains is a very, very important step or important part for your recon data. And now you will be able to have all the latest subdomains from the chaos project and you can utilize them. So this will not only save your time, but also will save your system resources where you do not need to do any type of subdomain enumeration or subdomain brute force. So I hope you guys understood this and I hope you guys like this video. In case you like this video, hit like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will keep on coming with such type of new and interesting videos for you guys. Thank you.